Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The One Entrepreneur, and in this video we are going to be covering the absolute first thing you need to do when you are thinking about starting a business. So what does that actually mean, right? You have this brilliant idea, you're like, hey, I wanna do a power washing company or I want to do, I don't know, shingles, masonry, who cares, whatever it is. Whatever your business is, congratulations. But here is the most important thing, and it's not setting up an LLC, it's, it's actually probably something that you would never actually guess, right? Because people think like, well, I need to start up an LLC. I need to hire an accountant. I need to go get my tax ID number and my EIN number and submit it to banks and get all that paperwork to it. Nope, that is not true. The first, I mean, the absolute first thing you need to do is actually think about a product. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but hear me out. When you are thinking about a product, right, you have to figure out what that product is, what's unique about your product, and ultimately find a need for that product or you reverse engineer it. You find the need and create a product for that problem, right? So those are really the two ways to do it. So you either, you ha you know, if you think about that thing when you were a kid that like you put the shapes into the thing, right? You have either the shape or you have the cube, right? The cube is the problem and you have to find the solution and put it in, or you have the shape and you have to find the cube and you, you know, that's your product and you have to find the solution, you know, you have to find somebody that needs that, right? That's really it. That's the whole way you start a business. Long before you actually go out, you spend any money, you go do anything, nothing. You have to go and find out what your product is and who it's going to serve, right? Typically, I always recommend to people, go start with a reverse engineered method. Go find the need and then create the solution around that. So what does that mean, right? Once again, I'll use the, the previous example of a power washer, right? So you think about starting a business. Well, are there a lot of towns in your house? Does your, does your, do the houses in your area have a lot of foliage above it, right? A lot of trees, the leaves fall down, they decay, makes the roof look really gross, mold, algae start to build up on there, right? That's not good for roofs. So if you can come in with a solution, right, power washing, as, as somebody that goes in, great. Now you can see, hey, there's a massive problem. There's all of these roofs that have all of this mold and all of this mildew and all of these rotten leaves. Now you can come up with a solution, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to think of something entirely new. It sounds kind of crazy. Just repeat, right? There's there's so many power washers out there. There's so many. I, I follow this guy on, on TikTok and he cleans garbage bins, right? He, he found a problem and he, he developed a solution and he just cleans garbage bins and he's very vocal about it and he has fantastic content, right? All of these things add up to you having a successful business, right? And the reason why I say that is because, yes, you could sell a product that everybody else sells, right? Where I come from on Long Island, there used to be five pizza places in one town. I mean, that's absurd. Now we have the magical number of four, but I mean, you're, you're creating a non-unique product. There's not that much of a demand there, but maybe a specialty food store might fit better, right? You have to figure out that you have to figure out either knowing what the solution is and finding people that have the problem or you have to have a problem and develop that solution either way is totally fine but just keep this in mind when you're going out and you're starting your business all the other stuff all the paperwork all of the accounting all the numbers all the paperwork it doesn't mean anything and the reason why i say that is because it doesn't mean anything if you don't have a good product so whatever you're coming up with this is going to be a shorter video but whatever you're coming up with think about what that problem is that you're actually solving, right? Or what your solution is and you can find people with that problem. When you resolve issues that way, more of that reverse engineer where you see a lot of problems, you're gonna be massively successful, right? And it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you just have to look around. It doesn't have to just be power washing, right? It could be running social media accounts. It could be building websites, right? Maybe a lot of web, a lot of businesses in your town don't have websites. The, the, the list is endless. As long as you're willing to do the work that is required for the solution, then you really have the ultimate ability to do whatever you want as a solution. And from there on out, you're just going to do the three simple steps. You're going to wash, rinse, and repeat, right? Over and over and over again. You're gonna go, if, I'm just gonna use the power washer example again, but you you have the power washing system. You just have to go find people that have dirty roofs and it could be patios and other areas as well, right? 
So you're going to wash and then you're going to rinse and, and do the work and then you're going to repeat that process over and over again. You're going to look for somebody else and look for somebody else and look for somebody else. It's not that complicated. A lot of people go to market without the idea of like, well, I'm just going to create this, right? Well, it's kind of hard if you see a massive issue in your market, then you can come up with an idea and move forward with it. It's way easier to do that than just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to just come up with this idea and hopefully somebody buys it. You got to be really careful when you do that. It's not impossible, but if you ha if you see a problem and you can address that problem, create the stuff, you know, create your product or solution and go sell it, you're going to be way more successful when it comes to this whole thing. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys found this interesting, right? There's a million ways to do it. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the links below, or I'd be curious to know, what are you guys selling? What are you guys you know, helping people with what are your services or products that you guys are, are going out there to make money on. I'm very curious and ultimately leave a comment down below on how you guys are finding those either those customers and whatever you're selling, right? I'm very interested because I, I, I hear these incredible answers and I see people, I know people that have the most unique services and the most unique you know, products to sell. And it's just an incredible experience. So if this video helps, this is a bit of a shorter one. I've been crazy busy. We are in the process of buying a house. So I will probably be not as active for the next couple of weeks. I apologize in advance, but we will be getting back to the, at least a semi regular uh, publishing schedule of at least once a week. Other than that, love you guys. I'll see you guys later.